Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. It's on my phone. Just leaving Chio. I had to do my orientation. But welcome to a vlog. what is up welcome back to my channel happy monday there's just something about a monday to me that is like so exciting i know people say that about sundays but for me mondays are like where it's at like i love mondays so freaking much anyways it's three o'clock i'm starting the vlog off very late i know but we have to get a ton done today and i've already gotten a ton done so i figured we should vlog have a super nice fun busy evening studying for my midterm tomorrow and yeah so it's three um just got back from montreal actually this morning we drove back around lunchtime we went up to montreal yesterday for the night which was so fun went to la ronde did some like spooky halloween stuff stayed at like the super bougie hotel and then had a nice breakfast and then came home we just like really seemed to love having spontaneous road trips so we did that and then we got home and then i had my orientation at Chio, which started the job like two months ago, but it's just like online modules and they pay you for three hours, only there for an hour, which was super nice. I don't have stuff to do at the hospital that like I just have been putting off and I was like, I'm here. I don't have anything to do really today, so we're gonna get it done. So like I had to go over to TOH, which if you guys don't know, um, the general and Chio are connected, the two hospitals I work at. So I went over to the general, I got all my immunizations and TB stuff, brought that over to Chio to bring to occupational health. Did a lot of back and forth then it came to chio and got my flu shot because toh doesn't have it yet and then i brought it up to my manager at toh i had a little um chat with my managers just about some shifts and stuff and it was a really productive afternoon so far we're on a roll i'm not gonna let myself take a nap i'm like forcing myself to get stuff done um because i have an exam tomorrow which i'm pretty ready for i spent like the last week studying but i do want to uh, study pretty much all tonight so that so I need to like meal prep because I work tomorrow at six. We have a lot to do. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make a to-do list. I might have to pick up groceries later because I don't really have any food. Um, and then I'm gonna study all night. The night before an exam though, I'm really just gonna like go over cue cards and probably write stuff out. Um, Cause like all my study guides are obviously made. Um, so that's how I'm gonna study. But I just wanna go over stuff for a few hours and just like answer some emails cause it is a Monday. It's like a new week. I need to answer some YouTube emails. Um, and yeah, but I just don't go in and up guys. I just got home. I just changed into this. You guys literally see me wear this all the time, but it's just like my airy oversized sweater. And I actually just want to wear jeans. Um, jeans it is, I guess. I'm just going to move everything from my bag into my backpack so I can study and I almost forgot that I need to go vote today too. So we're gonna have to go and do that. Right, guys, so right now, I just need to send my manager an email and then I'm going to plan my night out so I stay on track. So that is my update. Also, I need to throw those flowers out. They are dead, RIP. But yeah, I'm gonna send out a email to my manager, plan my week out and be productive. Just filled out some of the stuff this week a little bit of it's still up in the air like here i might be working at 2h after and like i've just done a ton of swaps so i haven't filled everything in yet but basically over here you have like a personal to do and a work to do which i love um so this is stuff i usually just do the personal to do with just general stuff i need to do throughout the week it doesn't matter when and then over here in like the space i just do like specific things to do on which day so like my monday to do and then i'll have my tuesday wednesday thursday friday this is just stuff to do at any point during the week so i made my tonight's to-do list which is lots studying and yeah I just these are like my newest obsession especially the sour ones so good I literally keep a bag in here at all times in case I need to pick me up hi guys update it's five and I'm gonna take a nap because I got my flu shot I feel sleepy now that's all but I set my alarm for half an hour so I'll be up at 5 30 I'm telling you guys Traveling home is exhausting, but that two hour drive just made me so tired. Anyways. Also, I took out my nose ring, if you guys didn't notice. I put my stud back in. So, yeah. Hi 
Hi guys, we're back in the car. It's 6.20, I just voted as you guys saw. I tried to do a little clip of that. We are heading out to study now. I got a good like hour nap in. I'm feeling pretty rejuvenated and fresh. Is that even a word? Anyways, also I know that my pieces aren't even. I will fix later, I just don't care. So we're getting up, we're gonna do that. I also need to get groceries at some point, but I just have a lot of schoolwork to get done. It feels like a Sunday right now. It does not feel like a Monday to me. Um, I think it's because we went on that little road trip, so I feel like it's Sunday, but it's actually Monday, so there's that. Alrighty guys, I just left Timmy's. Right there, it's been three hours. I'm gonna go do groceries now before I head home. But yeah, I got three hours of studying in. I'm feeling good. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed, so. Just got home, like I said, it's like 9-ish. I was studying for a few hours. I got a ton done, I'm really proud of myself. I was really in the zone, stopped. I had one chapter left to re-go over. But I stopped and went to the grocery store, picked up some groceries. I also got a probiotic because y'all know I have like stomach problems and stuff. And I think that that is what my chin acne is about. I think it's like gut related. So I'm gonna start taking a probiotic again. So I picked that up. If you guys are wondering, I got this little thingy from Marshalls for like five bucks and I really like it because it's nice when like, I'm in bed or something in the morning or it's just like here on my way out and I can just kind of like see at a quick glance what I have to do for the week. So obviously you guys know my time block. I use my Google, cal it's my Google calendar that I use and I like time block on here. But I like to put just super important stuff up here so that way I kind of know at a glance like what my most important things for the week are. So I have like my two jobs, um, like anything I'm doing like social life wise and midterms. So I just put like stuff like that. I was just cleaning out my purse super quick because it was super messy. It still is um, from traveling. But does anyone else keep like their cards from their hotels? I don't know why but I do this even though I basically like literally only stay at Marriott hotels. This weekend we stayed at... Versailles. It was super, super nice. It was probably the nicest hotel I've ever stayed at. It was super nice, but that's that. Okay, I need to study a bit more, but... Finished up my notes. I guess I'll show you guys if you guys are wondering. Kylie, I love your channel. Basically, I make a study guide and I put all of the lecture material in the study guide. Prof at the beginning of each slideshow gives us the learning objectives. I learned about doing this in anatomy in first year and I still do it. So basically, I take the learning objectives either from the textbook or the ones that she posts. And this is a based. This is what I base my study guides off of because this is obviously the stuff she wants us to know. So I make a separate sheet that has the objectives on it as you guys can tell so like chapter these are the chapter 7 objectives and I just oh I didn't check these off but I finished them basically I do little check boxes so that I make sure I know everything I need to know for the midterm 
um i did not chapter eight to this because i had no room and i didn't want to do two pages but so i have my objectives on a separate sheet so i can refer to that when i'm studying and then i write out my study guide obviously i don't use an ipad anymore i didn't like it i was not retaining information so this is what i do pink is like important people or important things purple is definitions and blue is like big subtitles so these are my study guides there's a lot there's like a few pages anyway so i write everything out once i did the getting confusing so i basically write everything out a few days before the midterm and then the day before i basically will go through these objectives and try and write them out on my own so i'll basically say okay what are the narrow and broad definitions of forensic psychology and then i'll write them down and then i'll look after to make sure it's right that way i'm kind of retaining information i'm also a big verbal person so I will talk to myself. Um, I did that earlier. You guys might have seen that when I was at the coffee shop. I was like talking to myself. I also do make quizlets too. But for midterms like this. That it's a lot of like understanding the concepts. I have to write it down. Quizlet really only works for me for one. Like it's um, definitions and like anatomy. Where it's like very straightforward. Like memorization stuff. Or like pharmacology. But for stuff like this. Where I need to like actually like understand it. I have to write it down. So that's that. Um, I think I'm...